you want to explore how revenue is affected by certain demographics. Begin by creating a dataset from the homepage. Upload the USA Store Sales 2022 Excel file. Click the USA Store Sales 2022 tab. Columns that contain numbers are assumed to be measures such as store ID. However, you need to treat these columns as attributes. Right-click the columns you don't need in the dataset and select Hide. Hide City. Scroll the columns. Hide Phone. Scroll the columns again. Hide State and scroll once more, and hide street details. Four data elements are now hidden in the dataset. Make sure that the aggregation method for units and revenue is set to sum. Save the dataset as USA Store Sales, and create the workbook. Begin building visualizations. Select a data element and then use the control key to select other relevant columns. Right-click a column and select the horizontal stacked visualization type and begin exploring the data by swapping depot name with item type. By positioning the mouse over a value and using the right-click menu to sort the data, you're able to view the highest values first. Drag the cursor to create a marquee. Right-click inside the marquee area to keep only the selected values. Verify your selection. Now that you're focused on exploring the highest revenue producing item types, you want to extend the data by adding demographics. Search for and add the USA Demographics dataset. Next, take a look at the connections in the data diagram. A connection by zip code is made with the other data source automatically. Now begin to examine the impact on revenue by selecting the Education Demographic Data Element. Drag Average Education to the Trellis Rose drop target. It looks like the highest revenues generated are for those who have achieved an education level of 15 years. You'd like to see if the revenue goals were met for these item types as well. Do this by adding the target revenue data source. Search for and add the USA Fact Day Targets dataset. Make a third connection that matches store sales with target revenue based on dates. Select target date from USA Fact Day Targets and select order date from USA Store Sales to complete the match. Verify the match and click Visualize. Now create a revenue calculation for the daily sales versus target revenues. Add data elements and an operator to create the expression. The data elements in the expression come from different data sources. Validate the calculation and then save it. Add a second visualization to explore revenue variances by copying the existing visualization and selecting the location on the canvas to paste it. Delete average education and depot name from the chart you just added. Replace revenue with revenue variance from the My Calculations folder an item type with order date. Focus the visualization on 2022 by adding a marquee and keep only those values. The filter is applied to both visualizations. You notice that for most of this time period, target revenues were below expectations. Now that you've finished visualizing data, save the workbook. Based on this exploration, you now have a better understanding of the revenue generated for specific item types. In this video, I showed you how to create a workbook open and blend data sources, swap columns, limit data, and create a calculation. Check us out at docs.oracle.com.